Uh, yeah, this is my day three of the 75 hard phase one, which is incorporating ice baths, which I talked about yesterday, uh, and then also three additional tasks. So I've incorporated breath work, which I've been doing regularly, but then like, I really wanted to cement that in as a non-negotiable habit, as well as writing and then also doing these lives. So those are the three things that I've incorporated, uh, trying to make those non-negotiables. And so, yeah, so I wanted to talk about breath work today, why I do it, why I teach it, what I love about it, uh, because I do find it to be a very powerful uh, active meditative technique. Uh, so like there's so many different benefits to breath work in general, but I'll kind of start with breathing mechanics and talking about what just kind of being aware of your breathing can do for you. Because we know that when we're stressed out, we know that like that it affects our breathing, that how when we feel like we're in an insane fight or flight state, that our breathing becomes shorter, shallower, quicker, but that we can also reverse engineer that whole process that anytime we are feeling any kind of way, Jared, what's up, brother? Yeah, anytime we're feeling any kind of way, anytime we're feeling stressed out and that we notice that our breathing is short and shallow, we can always reverse engineer that. We can always make it a point to breathe in fuller, more deeply. And in doing so, you're going to start to see that your body goes into a more calm, relaxed, parasympathetic nervous system state. And so the breathing mechanics are also paramount, fully necessary, uh, to really do the ice baths well, because anybody here who's either taken a cold shower, done an ice bath, or could at least imagine what it would be like to fall into thin ice, you can imagine what that would do to your breathing. It'll shorten it, it'll bring it all into the chest. And so with the breathing mechanics, we reverse engineer that. And I've seen people get into the ice bath and get into a calmer, more relaxed state in the ice bath than they were before getting in. And so we think of like, you know, when we meditate, there are different meditative techniques. And I do feel that breathing mechanics is one solid uh, meditative technique because we get to tune into our bodies. We get to get out of our mental chatter and you get to focus single-handedly. All right, how am I breathing? Where am I breathing into my body? So another thing we get to work on during uh, these breathing exercise is our interoceptive awareness, the awareness of where in my body am I breathing? Where in my body am I holding on to stress? Where can I release stress and just kind of relax my body? And so just with breathing mechanics, it's uh, if you've either never meditated before, or you've meditated and are looking for additional meditation tools and techniques, that breathing mechanics, just, all right, how can I breathe into my belly? How do I breathe into my chest? Oh, I can breathe into my ribs. I can breathe into my back. There's so many different areas that we can breathe into in our bodies that a lot of people simply aren't aware of. And so just by focusing on, oh, I can breathe more fully and deeply in my body, you're going to see that you can get yourself to relax more fully and deeply. And then you'll also see that you can get yourself just more present, more in tune with what's going on in the present moment. I do feel that a lot of people like ask, oh, how do I become more present? We all, you know, if you've read any any book on spirituality, a lot of times they'll talk about, oh, you want to become more present. Like, what does that mean? What does that entail? And there are physical things that you can do. And I do feel that breathing and being aware of where in your body are you breathing, purposefully breathing fuller and deeper, getting that heart rate to relax, and then just tuning into the body. Where in my body am I holding on to stress? Oh, I can release stress there. So one thing that you're doing is that you're relieving stress, you're becoming more present. Uh, and then, as I said, no matter what's going on in life, you can always focus on these different breathing exercises. You can always bring awareness into how you're breathing and in doing so, getting the body to relax no matter what's going on. That's the beauty of kind of the, the ice bath experience within the Wim Hof method. People often ask, how do breath work and the ice bath, like what's the connection there? And the fact is that you have to tune into your breathing in order to relax the body more fully and deeply. And the ice bath is really just kind of like a metaphor for life where you can do all the right things, but sometimes life throws you a curveball. And uh, there's the old saying that life is 10% uh, what happens to you, 90% how you handle it. 
And the, basically focusing on your breathing, having these kind of tools and techniques to just better deal with any kind of problem or difficult situation that life may throw your way. And so that's just breathing mechanics, breathing more fully into your body, being more conscious about how you're breathing. And uh, yeah, just kind of bringing that awareness there. And so there's the breathing mechanics. And then also when I do workshops, I also teach uh, the Wim Hof method. I was teaching transformational breath work before. Uh, but what I really love about the Wim Hof method is that there's a challenge incorporated into it that you have to breathe a little bit more effortfully. Uh, is that a word? Effortfully uh, during the Wim Hof method breathing where you have to really kind of use a little bit of force. And then there's also breath holds in it. I've seen people use the breathing to breathe, to hold their breath for three, four, sometimes up to five minutes. Uh, it's pretty wild stuff, but really amazing things are happening during even just the Wim Hof method portion of the breathing. Because what I mentioned before with the breathing mechanics of slowing down the breathing where the ideal breathing rate's about five and a half breaths per minute. Uh, there's this old Buddhist belief I like to share from time to time that, uh, that our lives are measured in how many different breaths we take. Uh, oh, awesome. Effortfully is a word. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but like that, there's this old Buddhist belief that our lives are measure, measured in how many breaths we take. And they, the example they often give is that dogs will breathe anywhere from 40 to 60 times a minute and only have a lifespan of about 14 years, yet turtles and tortoises, I don't know what the plural of tortoises, maybe you can look that up too, Lindsay, tortoises, tortoisei, uh, they breathe once or twice a minute and they have life expectancies, sometimes well over 200 years. So to really kind of live optimally, you got to slow that breathing down, getting that five and a half second inhale, five and a half second exhale. So about five and a half breaths per minute. But when we do the Wim Hof method breathing, we're actually speeding that rate up, but it actually long-term slows it down because of the fact that we're kind of giving the nervous system that little bit of a workout. We are going deep into that sympathetic or fight or flight uh, nervous system state while we're doing that breathing, going fully in, letting go. It is tortoises, awesome. Uh, so, but while we're doing it, we're kind of creating a hormetic stress. We're putting a little stress on the body and our bodies do want that little bit of stress. It's chronic stress where we start kind of running into like health problems, mental, emotional problems, but little bits of stress are actually really good for the body. Uh, during this breathing, actually that, that hormetic stress that I mentioned is what gets the innate, remute, the innate immune response going. And that's why if you look up Wim Hof method route bout study, this is what really put Wim Hof on the map and that fact that he was able to do these breathing techniques, get injected with an endotoxin, it was E. coli, uh, and nothing happened. There was no negative effects or anything like that. And then they took it past women. They brought in a group of 12 people that learned the same techniques and then a control group that didn't. And the group that worked with Wim, learning how to do this breathing, creating that hormetic stress, creating that innate immune system response, all of them had no issues whatsoever when they were injected with that endotoxin. But then the control group, who had knew none of these breathing techniques, got injected with it, all of them got violently ill. So it goes to show that you're doing good stuff for your body. You also create acute respiratory alkalosis, or essentially you're putting the body into a more alkaline state allowing it to function better, allowing your pain thresholds to go up. Really good stuff's happening there. Uh, and yeah, you also get your, uh, like you get the Krebs cycle of your body working more efficiently. So your body's producing more ATP, more energy. So a lot of times people do feel really energized after these breathing exercises. But one of the really cool things about the Wim Hof method technique is the powerful meditative state that it puts you into because of the fact that you connect to deeper parts of the brain. You actually kind of disconnect from your prefrontal cortex. So the prefrontal cortex, it's the human part of our brain. It's our conscious brain. And uh, what's beautiful about that is that it separates us from all the other animals. We're the only animal that can think about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. We can create plans and see those plans through. But also the problem of these kind of, of being in that prefrontal cortex is the fact that our brains come sometimes sabotage us. Tony Robbins has a saying that your brain is designed to make you survive. It's not designed to make you happy. 
And so any, it's anyone who's used their brain before kind of has probably had moments of just negative thoughts like, oh no, what about, what if I don't have enough money for this or what's going on in the world, the economy, war, all these things. And these are real things to you know, do stuff about and to plan for and to be ready for to some extent. But at the same time, it's also, you know, we can get very lost in our minds of things that sometimes don't affect us at all. And so we get to disconnect from that. We get to really connect into our subconscious brain. We get to connect deeper into the mammalian, reptilian parts of our brain. And the only way I can explain it is this really powerful presence that we get to experience from doing these different breathwork techniques or doing this Wim Hof method breathing technique as well. Other uh, breathwork techniques can take you to that same place. Um, but what's beautiful about the Wim Hof method or about Wim Hof in general is that he did bring this to science and they've done this in MRIs. They've shown what really happens in the body and the mind from doing these different breathing exercises. Um, and yeah, it's just really cool to also like experience it firsthand from doing these different breathing techniques and to know what's going on is really cool. Uh, but it's like the only way I can really explain that, that sensation of our minds disconnecting from the prefrontal cortex and connecting to the deeper parts uh, is it's kind of like a marionette holding on to the strings of your body. And what I've noticed is that uh, sometimes like the thoughts in our mind, they create these different feelings in the body. You can try it for yourself. Just try to think of something that makes you happy, sad, angry, uh, whatever other feeling you want to create in your body. And it's not that long before you start to feel that in your body. And then once again, the reverse is also true. Sometimes when we're angry about a situation, we're scared of something, we're upset, like our, our brains will just randomly start producing thoughts in that direction. And so when we do the Wim Hof breathing, we disconnect from that prefrontal cortex, there is almost like this, this definable moment that you can experience where it feels like it's a marionette letting go of the strings where you really notice all the mental chatter creating these different pockets of feelings throughout the body. And it just kind of lets go, it stops, the mental chatter stops. And it creates this really amazing, profound lightness within the body. And that's one of the things that I really, I love uh, experiencing during the breath work. Uh, I myself have had, as well as I've had people that have come to workshops, experience like some profound spiritual experiences. It's really the only way uh, I can explain it. And so, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a really powerful, potent tool to kind of just create these really powerful meditative states that sometimes uh, a meditative state that you'd be able to create with hours of meditation, you'd be able to kind of create that same kind of feeling with just minutes of breath work. And that's what I love about it. It really expedites that whole process. And so, yeah, I'm just always excited to share it. Uh, Lindsay, do you think you can throw in the chat uh, our, our breath work link? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Lindsay's going to throw in the breathwork link so that you can experience two free weeks of unlimited breath sessions. If you're here right now, also probably throw it in the replay as well. So uh, you'll get it one way or another. But yeah, just it's a thing I'm passionate about sharing with other people the experiences that I've gotten to experience firsthand from doing breathwork are amazing. I love sharing that with people. But yeah, it is that, um, it's just like that amazing, that amazing feeling that you get to uh, experience. So yeah, uh, Tito, we're going to have it for you in just a second. Lindsay's throwing it in to the chat right now. And yes, yeah, because of, like, it's a thing that I want to uh, share with people. Is that really our new breath? Is that our uh, new? It's a free trial. Oh, it's a free trial. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, www.joeyhouse.com slash blow hyphen your hyphen mind. Uh, go check it out. I'll be there. I teach every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Thursday at 5 p.m. in Pacific time. And yeah, we just love to have anyone who's seen this there, love to share this experience with you. Because yeah, it's one thing to talk about it. This isn't a thing I'm trying to oversell in any capacity. This is just a genuinely awesome experience, uh, breath work, and this isn't hyperbole, has gen genuinely changed my life uh, just because of the directions, the choices that you make, uh, the way you start looking at things. And I've found myself 
just find following uh, like guided paths, just kind of following like, oh, like I feel I'm supposed to do this. I don't know why, but this is the direction I'm gonna be going in as opposed to being in my kind of fear-based mind, which is I feel so common, it's so easy to get stuck in that. And I do feel that just even daily doing this as a breathwork practice has really just allowed me to let go of various things and to just follow deeper, uh, higher callings. So yeah, there's the uh, the link to join www.joeyhouse.com slash blow hyphen your hyphen mind. Uh, hope to see you there. Thank you for, you can just go to joeyhouse.com and you'll find it. Either way, I hope to see you there. Thank you for joining this live. I will see you tomorrow, maybe the same time, probably not. I just kind of jump on when I either A, have time, B, feel good in my body uh, as far as sharing. So thank you for being here. Look forward to seeing you any other times. And yeah, check out uh, joeyhouse.com and uh, do some breath work with me. All right. Have a good day, everyone.